Hello, I'm Esme and this is my little sister. Hello, Ramona. When I was three, I was diagnosed with leukaemia, but I'm better now. We're here to introduce you to Dr Karen. She's going to tell you all about the research that she's done for children with cancer. Hello, Dr Karen. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and because there's lots of science, me and Honor are going to try and explain what she means. So, Dr Karen, what is your job? I'm a researcher at the Institute of Child Health at University College London. Does that mean you do experiments in a laboratory full of test tubes and computers? Yes. So what are you experimenting on at the moment? We're developing the use of bispecific T-cell engages or bites to treat neuroblastoma using immunotherapy. Wow, impressive and tricky. Let's take that one step at a time. First of all, neuroblastoma is a type of cancer, right? Yes, it's a type of cancer of the nerve cells and it's very difficult to treat. And immunotherapy, that's a way of using our body's own natural defences, the T cells, to attack the cancer cells, right? That's right. T cells kill abnormal cells, for example, virus infected cells, or even cancer. That sounds great. But there is a problem. What's that? Well, T cells are great at destroying cancer cells, but sometimes they can't find them because the cancer cells look just like normal healthy cells. Aha, that's where the bites come in. They're like little flags that tell the T cells where the cancer is. You've got it. Bites are binding bodies and they have two ends, one that grabs onto the cancer cell and the other helps the T cell find it and destroy it. So how will that help treat neuroblastoma? Well, this will be a completely new way of treating it, to offer a cure where we can't now and to avoid the nasty side effects of current treatments. So what happens next with your research? We're working on the design of the bites to find the ones that mimic the normal immune response. That means finding the ones that work the best. That's right. Thanks, Dr. Karen. Good luck with your research. Thank you.